So good evening. It's very nice to see that a large number of people have not wandered off to enjoy the city. It's been a very intense two days, and I think really we cannot claim to solve all of the problems that have been pointed out. But maybe we can uh, set things in a more simple perspective, because when it boils down to some essentials, I think it's maybe not so complicated. As long as there are inquisitive minds, there will be education, regardless of the form that we choose uh, to implement this education. Uh, as long as there is the dedication of educators, education is not endangered. And as long as there is the commitment of students to learn, I think the process is intact. We will adapt it to the conditions, as many people have elaborated, depending on very many variables. But more or less, I think the dialogue, the communication that enables the learning process is the key. So whether we will lose, use various tools to help us in the process, in the end, it boils down to the teacher and the student communicating and talking. And when we have this, whether it's in person or online, it, the, func the process will function. Uh, so in that respect, I am very optimistic that uh, higher education as an institution will survive it cannot be replaced by any other form. And so, of course, it will adapt, but its essence of how it was initiated very early on will not be changed. And that is one of the true triumphs of civilization, that education as it's set up in the form of, okay, lower levels, but it's the higher education that will allow, hopefully, uh, humankind to overcome all of the challenges that, first of all, have been set by nature, and now some that we have set on our own by disturbing nature. Uh, I think that, more or less, this is all I wanted to say. I would like to thank all of you for participating in the conference, and the University of Belgrade has been more than happy to be a very small part of organizing this excellent conference. So thank you very much.